high class. It's nighttime right now. We're inside the cabin. Uh, we're still sailing, even though it's night. Drive, sailing across an ocean is very different from driving across country. At night, you can't pull into a motel and get a room and go to bed. You have to sail through the night. You also have to sail through whatever kind of weather might get thrown at you. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm checking out the latest weather facts. Uh, what we've got here is we've got a we've got a marine band radio that's tuned to a special radio station where the government sends out faxes. These faxes work very much like the fax on a telephone. Uh, you, know, you send out an image across the radio. In this case, what they send out is weather reports and weather maps, so that we can see what weather hap would happen to be out there. Uh, normally, when you sail to Hawaii, the only things you need to worry about are some nighttime squalls, afternoon squalls. But right now, we got something to worry about. Let's take a look at this. What the, what the weather report is showing is that there is a hurricane that has formed. Now, this, this thing wasn't here when we left San Francisco 10 days ago, but a lot can happen in 10 days. So this hurricane has formed in the waters to the southeast of where we are. So it's very important... Whoops, the new facts just started coming in. So it's very important that we track these uh, weather faxes so that we can change our route as we in order to avoid hurricanes and things like that. Now, the reason I'm telling you all this is not because we're going to talk about the physics and weather forecasting, although that would be very, very interesting physics. There's some tremendously interesting and difficult physics involved in that. That's way beyond the scope of what we can do here. The reason I'm telling you this is because I want to show you something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take one of these faxes. In fact, I'll take this fax that we were just looking at. I'm going to put it up here on the screen so that you can see it. And I want you to notice it's a nice, clear, easily re readable fax. Okay, then I'm going to take another fax that we recorded earlier, and I'm going to put it on the screen over here. And what you'll see is that this is a... It's still legend. There's so much noise in the signal that you can't even, you can't even read it. I mean, it's completely useless. So, what I want you to notice, what I want to point out to you, is that this is a pattern that you've seen for the last several days. Whenever we try to get a weather fax at night, like I'm doing right now, we get weather faxes like this one, nice, clean, easily readable, no trouble. Whenever we try to pick up a weather fax off the radio in the daytime, we get one like this. It's, it's so noisy that it's useless. It's a and this, we've seen this pattern consistently the last several days. By the way, we're, we're about a thousand miles out. Right now we're about a thousand miles from San Francisco and also a thousand miles from Hawaii. So we're about as far from the radio stations as you can get. So here's my question to you. Knowing what you know about electromagnetic waves and you know the things, radio waves that we've, that we've studied in class so far, I want you to explain why is it that the faxes, the weather fax radio reception that we get at night is nice and clear and easy to legend. And the radio faxes that come in during the daytime are so illegible that they're basically useless. Why is this? That's your assignment. Good to you.